What's going on guys and welcome to another brackets extension video in this video we're going to look at quick form tool extension and this extension is made for all the form fanatics so if you're one of them you should definitely watch this video so we go over to the extension manager over here and we type quick form tool click install close and close and now you can see I have this little icon over here, right? So right now I have a empty document. So when I press this little icon, you can see what I have. So I have all these options. This one would say the file input, then I have a text input, and then the button, and I can go on and on. And you can check them out yourselves because I'm not going to go over every icon and tell you what exactly it is. So let's say that I would want a radio button, right? Now you can see that I have an empty document and I'm just going to show you the uh, quick preview and you can see that it's empty. But let's say that I want a add a checkbox right now, then a radio button, then a select, and then let's say another button, right? And obviously you can fill them out and give them a classes or these or all that kind of stuff. But I'm just showing you how quick it is actually to add a form to your document. So we go back over here. And now we can see that we haven't filled it out, but yet I have a button over here. So let's go and find that button where I have name button. And let's say I'm going to give it a value and I'm going to write it that it's a button, right? Button, let's say one. So save this over here and I have over here, I have button one. And obviously, if I would want to copy this, I could just either use a shortcut or just copy it in general. And I have like, let's say in a 20 seconds, I have 20 buttons on my page. And you can see over here that I have a HTML audio and I have video. And what these icons mean, you can see HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So as you press that, you can right away see that I have a new HTML element. I'm sorry, document, or I would have over here a new CSS and JavaScript. 